Matt here, Seattle Speed Shop, and today we have stock versus hot. Uh, got two 1931 Model A pickups, uh, my late 31, and my buddy Doug's early 31. Uh, this one is stock, this one has been hot rotted. They are still very similar, but there are some differences, and I thought it'd be interesting to compare the two and and just kind of take a look at them so i guess first we'll take a look at doug's pickup and then we'll take a look at mine we'll go over some of the similarities some of the differences and kind of how they perform differently or better or worse Alright, so this is Doug's stock early 31 pickup. Uh, if you uh, have seen the Will It Run video I did uh, of this thing sitting outside over the winter, uh, you, then uh, this is that, that same truck. Uh, really no, no modifications to this thing at all. Uh, it does have uh, the regular narrow Model A bed, uh, non-indented firewall. Uh, generally just a good old truck. Uh, this truck actually used to sit in a gas station in Cedro Woolley here in Skagit Valley for many years. And uh, Doug was fortunate enough to get to buy this from a gentleman that lived close to me. And uh, We've spent some time kind of just tuning it and making it run and drive better. And just a, a really great old stock Model A pickup. So it does have a new reproduction interior in it, which is very nice. Uh, I've driven this truck a little bit, runs and drives good, especially in comparison to, to when Doug brought it back to my place. Uh, barely made the drive home actually uh, but we, we kind of just set about correcting all those issues so figure we'll start I want to you know measure all right so I figured let's let's baseline uh, what the difference in height is so we got the stalker here uh, try and go right through the center of the wheel and that is almost exactly 32 inches so let's move to the back and we'll see what that is and that is 35 and three quarters all right so here we are at my truck uh the hot rod i'm gonna measure on the passenger side just because this fender is a little wonky on this one uh so let me do that so we got 27 and three quarters I'm gonna just measure this one just for, you know, that's actually not that far off from that one. So, uh, 27 and three quarters on the front. Just about 34, just about 34 on the rear. So that's, uh, All 
All right, so the stock truck and the, the hot rod truck, we have a four and a quarter inch difference between the front of each of them, which makes sense because I got a four inch drop axle on the front of this. Uh, the rear is only two inches different, but I've got a taller tire on the rear than what's on the rear of this. Kind of hard to compare, but you know, it is lower, so that's good. Uh, I want to talk about kind of some of the differences between these two trucks. Uh, this is an early 31. It's got the regular bed, non-indented firewall, a couple other small differences. This is a late 31. Uh, this truck was made between May and July of 31. It's got the wide bed, still has the soft top, uh, and it has the indented firewall with the fuel shut off in the engine bay instead of under the dash. Uh, for all intents and purposes, they are very, very similar trucks. Uh, we'll do a little walk around on mine. I'm going to talk about some of the modifications on it in comparison to the stock Model A. And uh, then we're going to take you guys for a drive. So on the stock truck, it's got 475, 519s all the way around. And on the modified truck is running 550, 17s on the front and 750, 17s on the rear on 33, 34 Ford wire wheels. Uh, as you can see, I've got wire on the front, spats on the back. It's just not on today. Had to do some repairs. I kind of thought it would be interesting to see the stock wire wheel and then the spat as well. So, tire differences. This one has a dropped axle in the front. No dropped axle. Still has mechanical brakes. This truck has 1940 Ford hydraulic brakes on it. Uh, along with a F100 steering box, has a 39 uh, Ford top loader transmission, uh, along with some engine modifications, which uh, are a 7 to 1 super windfield head. It's got a big windfield cam in it and a single downdraft 90 Stromberg 97 carburetor on an Anson intake. Uh, I think it's probably, you know, 70 horsepower. I've heard some people estimate this engine as high as like 90. Uh, but from my uh, butt dyno, it definitely feels like it's got about double the horse of, of the stock truck. It uh, really performs quite well. It uh, got a lot of miles on a stock Model A engine. Uh, this engine outperforms it in every way uh, easier on the truck when you drive it at speed you're just not working the engine as much way more power you can actually pass people and accelerate uh, it's, it's it's 
a huge difference in the drivability of the truck. Well, some of the other modifications that have been made, we have stock headlights here and guide sealed beam headlights on this one. This truck also has the single stock rear tail light. I'll show you that. You can see how much smaller the bed is than my truck. Got the single stock tail light there. Still even has the fender mounted spare. Still got the bumper. And then on my truck, I am running 37 Ford tail lights. As you can see, I think they're a great addition. And you can see how much bigger the bed is on my truck. Uh, they're four inches wider than the little beds. They're deeper, longer. First uh, Ford truck with a steel bed floor. Uh, so these late 31s are kind of a uh, prototype testing for some of the improvements for the 32 Ford pickups. Uh, which I just think it's kind of an interesting interesting bit so uh, let me get kind of cameras mounted and stuff and, and we're gonna go for a ride So I just wanted to talk about the engines in both of these trucks. Uh, this is a Model A engine, uh, modified. It's got a seven to one super wind field head, Anson intake, downdraft 97 carburetor. It's got a pretty big wind field cam in it. But overall, it's still a fairly unmodified stock style engine. Uh, you know, still running Babbitt. Still splash oil uh, to the rods. Just a, a, a basic Model A engine. Still six volt. I have upgraded the distributor. I have a Mallory aftermarket distributor in this one. Centrifugal Advance. In my opinion, one of the best modifications you can make to a Model A is installing like a B distributor or a Mallory distributor, something with Centrifugal Advance. Uh, really wakens up a stock engine and makes it a pleasure to drive. I know a lot of guys like kind of the the novelty of controlling their spark. Uh, I think it's a pain in the butt and it, they so much more drivable and, and just perform so much better with with a slightly more modern distributor uh, such as a B distributor from a 32. Um, you know that, that's that's about all I can say on that kind of you know this truck this truck will do 5560 at a quarter throttle uh, a stock truck you gotta have the pedal to the wood to just even you know basically do 50 so the difference in power is just amazing in the drivability of the vehicle and here we have Doug's stock engine that's probably a little hard to see uh, I'll bring you guys closer. So, stock style uh, mechanical advanced distributor. It's still running 
the updraft carburetors just all stock this is kind of what they they looked like hot rod stock all right so i just got back and i kind of just wanted to talk about the experience a little bit um first off i want to thank doug for letting me uh kind of shoot this video and helping me with that and use his truck uh I really like Doug's truck. It's it's a really cool. The, the paint on it is just ridiculously cool. Uh, interior and it's really nice. Uh, it is stock, so it drives like a stock Model A. Um, it's much slower than this thing. It rides a lot stiffer. Not as much body roll. Um, it's got the crash box in it, which is. I mean, they're kind of fun, but uh, definitely different than than the 39 <clears throat> V8 transmission that's in this truck. Uh, this truck has just very basic modif modifications to what a stock Model A is that just make it kind of usable in a modern, uh, you know, kind of setting, and it it really is a pleasure to drive. I, uh, you know, upgraded brakes, upgraded the, uh, power capabilities of the engine. This truck will do, you know, 60 miles an hour to like a quarter throttle where, you know, Doug's truck, for instance, to do 60 miles an hour, that's full throttle, top speed, uh, <laughs> which when, <laughs> I don't know where you would have driven a Model A at 60 miles an hour in 1930, uh, but a, a new or fully restored, uh, properly operating car should be capable of 60 mile. a stock car should be capable of 60 miles an hour, um, which uh, I think Doug's does about 55, uh, which could be a timing, could be a little bit off there. Uh, but his, his truck runs real strong and, and is a good example of a unrestored pickup. Um, so I'd love to see it turned into something like this. That's his call. But I, I hope you guys kind of enjoyed seeing the comparison between the stock and, and, and the hot. Uh, you know, I, I, I really like driving my truck. I put a lot of miles on it and it, uh, you know, it, it's been a great daily driver. I, I uh, put a lot of miles on it with a stock engine, which is not super fun, but was, was fine. The, uh, this engine in it is just incredible. It performs just great. Uh, incredible amounts of power. I mean, it drives like a modern car at this point, you know, as far as power levels go. Uh, it's really, really quite good. So, uh, yeah, I don't know that uh, I would really say you got to do anything crazy to end up with a truck like this or, or any Model A like this. I drilled six holes in this truck to kind of take it from a stock truck and make it into the hot rod you see now. So it, it's really pretty simple, you know, all, all hand tools, uh, something that you could do in a one car garage or even outside. I, most of the time I worked on this thing, I pushed it outside and uh, would work on it outside just because I had more room <clears throat> in the driveway. So, yeah, I think that's about it. So I appreciate you guys watching. We just... Went over the 1,000 subscriber mark a little bit ago, so thank you guys for subscribing. We are creeping up kind of on all the other monetization requirement. Uh, so that's cool. I, I, I really appreciate everyone checking us out, and hope you enjoyed today's video. 
And you know, if you, if you got one running, get out there and drive it while we can. Summer uh, weather is beautiful right now, at least here in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, and if you're working on your project, just keep plugging away. We're still plugging away on the hour a day T and working on Susie and the Bell Auto Park Special. So we're kind of bringing back the, the first stuff I showed you. I know I got a lot of projects and I wasn't sure if I should just focus on one or I, I jump around, I have to jump around because, you know, you get to a stopping point where it's like, oh, I got to do this or I got to get a tool or I'm waiting on this part or uh, I need help with doing this or, you know, I need someone to hold that. You know, there's a lot of reasons that I will just move on to the next car uh, to keep things going and, and using the best, uh, you know, my time best I can to pr produce uh you know, productive work. Uh, so I guess what, what I'm uh, trying to say is I got a lot of stuff to work on and uh, I know that that can maybe be frustrating or confusing because maybe you're not into one of the builds or, you know, you want to see one that we haven't shown. But I promise you, they're all getting worked on. I got a lot of stuff to show you. Uh, I may try and step up to two videos a week. We'll see. Um, T-shirts in the work. I uh, hired Jeff Norwell to whip us up uh, a, a T-shirt, which I think is going to be cool. I'm not going to give anything away. Uh, we still got uh, stickers. Uh, working on a big cartel site, so you'll be able to just go there and pay for stuff, and super easy to to do. Should have that running here. Pretty soon, I was kind of waiting until the, uh, I'll probably get that started at the beginning of August, um, and then just has the stickers on it now, and then we'll add the t-shirts when those come in, maybe, you know, t-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, we'll see. Uh, yeah, I got a lot going on, so <laughs> thank you. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Get out there. Drive them.